Motorola's newest cell phone went on sale today. It's called the Droid. And the Schaumburg-based company is hoping that it will challenge the popular iPhone and get Motorola back on top of the very competitive cell phone business. ABC 7's Ruby Bagewell has more. With a lot of flash, Motorola is previewing the Droid on Michigan Avenue. To somebody that's not really gadget crazy like myself, uh, a substitutable good, which is what this is trying to be to the iPhone, would be a pretty good bet. Motorola has not had a new hit phone in at least two Christmas retailing seasons. Analysts say one more year would have been a dire future for the company's beleaguered handset division. In the first quarter of this year, it lost $509 million. The year before, it lost $418 million. The key for Motorola is making a bet with Google's Android software. Putting it in these new phones, analysts say, is perhaps the only way the company, which used to make half the cell phones in the world and now makes just 6%, can really move forward. It's sort of a new test, but it's one that, if it succeeds, it is the right direction for them to continue on. Android is open source software. It allows anyone, including consultants like Jason Shaw, to use it to develop applications or apps that users of a new hit from Motorola will like and buy. Shaw says now the company's track record in innovation needs a new chapter. They've developed a, a, a layer that sits on top of Google Android called Moto Blur, which is a way for users to consolidate all of their contacts from Twitter, from Facebook, uh, from all their social networks into one place. A Motorola spokesman would not say that teaming up with Google underlines how much is riding for the company on this new phone. Only this. It's a, a great opportunity for us to partner with one of the great software leaders of the world and kind of combine those two great strengths together to deliver this proposition. It is a proposition some Chicagoans are willing to entertain. You've seen a lot of Chicago companies kind of going out over the past couple of years, Bank One and some other ones like that. And so, you know, something like Motorola being a Chicago company, you know, you really kind of have to support it. It's kind of like buying U.S. Ravi Bechwal, ABC 7 News, Chicago.